Ladies and gentlemen, I asked operator mains for their best tip, and these are no ordinary operator mains. These are pro players. Shut up, you worm. This is a terrible video because you haven't asked me yet. I'm literally Legion. Hey, whoa, whoa, pipe down, Legion. I literally made you. And shouldn't you be sticking to the YouTube shorts anyways? So guys, comment down below what operator or player I should get on next. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Next up, we have Dokubi, and I'm here with a new pro player in Siege. You guys all know him. He's the prodigy. Ambi, he's on pro player for Sonic. So Ambi, what is your best? tip for doka b my tip is is that instead of droning the entire map you can use a dope call with a drone to drone faster in ranked that's my tip i like that one i love it too so if i were to drone right <laughs> check your room out yeah it's like so obvious oh you hear him you hear him you hear him nice nice you know, I'm, I'm really glad you said that, though, Ambi, because, like, I always, like, think about that ranked. I'm like, yo, just bring Doke if we're on later. And then this phone call and this fucking face. Hey, fucking do face do Doke Jackal. That's how you clear the new maps. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Don't ban Jackal on the new Listen, maps. If you're, if you're struggling on freaking layer, bro, just pick Doke, man. And, just man, bring it's... Doke, Jackal, Blitz, and two heart in the hard breach, and you win. That's all I'm saying. Moving on to the next operator, we have Mozzie, and I'm here with the pro player, Foxe. So, Foxe, what is your best tip for mozzie the best tip that i could say with mozzie is probably not to worry so much about hacking the drone but putting your pests in good places that prevent people from driving through drones so kind of like phantom pressure all around the map so what is what does phantom pressure mean so phantom pressure essentially means you play in the area or you start in the area and then you run away and now as an attacker you think wow this area like it, it i need to drone it i need to be careful on how i clear it because i don't want to just walk into somebody and die so they waste extra time trying to get past your mozzie pest trying to drone the area and you're not really there so it's kind of just phantom pressure it, it means exactly what it gotcha. what like the term is you're making it look like you're in the area but you're in reality you're long gone you're just wasting the extra time couple you know few little bit of seconds cool you want to show us how to use some of the your uh, pests first things first on mozzie that a lot of people are probably doing wrong is I actually don't hack any drones in the prep phase at all. Off the start, what I'll usually do is just run around and try to shoot as many drones as possible. On Clubhouse, this is kind of how I play my Mozzie is I'll usually play around bar and this will be like my starting point. And what I do with my pest, right, to create that phantom pressure, you come with strip. The first thing that I'll do is I'll put one mozzie pest on this door now if you're an attacker you know if you drive your drone through it and get caught usually the area is such a non-pivotal part of the map that you're not going to throw another drone you're usually just going to come to the door or if they stop the drone and try to shoot it i love pairing that up with playing on this angle right here so you know that he has no clue what's going on on the other side of this door and if he comes over to shoot that pest you can swing it if he just blindly runs through and assumes it's clear because like as an attacker this hallway if you get your drone all the way through strip that's the hard part down you never really expect somebody to be right in that corner so usually most people will just you know ego chow it and just push through or just start shooting through the wall and that's when you can like make the play to push up on them and then also like i said as a mozzie i love playing in bar the enemy team is going through garage shy they're up in master if all of your teammates are up usually five players downstairs in the site is very claustrophobic what i love to do and what you'll see other pro players do is if there's like a minute 30 on the clock they'll run all the way into strip knowing that the drone never crossed so if no drone ever crossed or this pest wasn't dealt with you know that nobody's in this area so then you can just walk over here like play into strip go for a late flank if they try to work with moto on the moto hatch you can easily just come up to the wall you know they barely hear that you can see the moto hatch and a lot of people when there's a minute left they clear the whole map they're gonna neglect strip and then boom they get shot in the back and you can like win your team rounds just off of like using that one mozzie pest i never thought about playing like off the mozzie drone i just put them down and fucking forget about them like yeah, if they're still exactly. there then it's like oh now now you know exactly what you need to do so i think having that pre-plan is always super super key you can yeah. always use mozzie pest so that if you need to back out or like run away you know like you can kind of assume an area is clear and then high level players when they see the the little spider symbol or they hear it they won't drive their drone past it so you can play areas completely different and then again here comes that fandom pressure you can play it off one you know pushing on this mozzie pest one time and then the second time around you can just completely give it up go down to the basement and now he's gonna have to waste 
you know, 30 seconds, like an extra little bit of time to clear out the bathroom, clear out the strip, and just, he doesn't know if you actually are playing behind the Mozzie Pass. So it's really important not to just throw him down and not use them or not play off of them. Facts, facts. Another thing to worry about with pests is usually putting them on a doorway. Yeah, most of the time you'll be able to stop or stall people going through, but when you play against high level players, they're usually gonna be paying attention to something like that. So instead of putting, you know, a mozzie pest just kind of on the kitchen door right here to stall a kitchen drone, right? Somebody can shoot it from outside the hall. If somebody's in kitchen, most of the time they're not gonna stop their drone there. You can put the spider actually on the water cooler right here obviously it's kind of sticking out a little bit let me redo that but you put the spider in the path of where a drone's gonna go so most people when they drive their drone through this door they're not gonna drive the drone wide like this like who the who the fuck does that sorry i hope i can swear on your channel <laughs> yeah you're fine people can swear most, pe most people with their drone are just gonna you know dr hug the wall drive it past there and then boom now they didn't get the spider emblem and kind of like a uncomfortable spot it's a nice easy way to catch drones later in the round in their momentum like in their travel yeah i mean i'm telling you that i i would probably run my drone in that one i i'm gonna be honest but i'm super freaking i'm super clumsy with droning lately i'll just drive i i see the spider emblem and i'll still drive my drone through it sometimes so free win for the mozzie win oh yeah absolutely that's why like people are so uh neglectful of drones if you can shoot four or five drones on prep phase and then you're stalling or hacking like one to two in the game just stalling them out it's puts you in such a better advantage especially now with like tube row and everything like you know this gets rid of a lot of like the rat entries too because most people get droned in so if they don't have vision it's more of a fair fight what are your thoughts about like putting him in the floorboard like this i remember seeing this a while ago from uh yeti I, in, like back when he was in disrupt it's not a terrible idea it's just it's very specific to how drones will like move like if you you gotcha. know made a little hole right there and they drove the drone like to the left it wouldn't it doesn't go through the floor they would have to drive the drone directly above it so i mean it could work but i think there's better areas where you could put the drone for example like instead of putting it right here you know if you want to catch one on kitchen you put it on that because everyone who's driving the drone through freezer is just driving a straight line right here or if it goes through the window they're going to drive their drone past here so you want to think of like the pathing of drones so like obviously like you know Putting it in the floorboard can catch something, but I think there's a lot more creative ways and better ways to catch drones uh, than putting it like in the floor. How about like if you capture a drone, like what what do you do with the drone? Do you just fucking leave it alone or do you go for a C4? Or you go for like, turn your teammate in? Like what should you kind of be yeah. doing with the drone? It's going to be very situational, but there are some maps where if you hack a drone and you're on the roam with a duo, you can use that drone for retakes. You can use that drone to scout out info and have your teammate play off of it. Again, like a lot of attackers, a lot of flank watchers, if a drone just comes through and scans you, you're kind of like, you know, what the fuck's going on? Like, this isn't normal. And then you're so confused with the drone that most people just don't really play behind drones on defense so you're just you don't know how to handle the situation so it gets me a lot of free kills i think anybody that is like a mozzie main and they watch this video bro like hey, even bro next time i roam on kitchen i'm picking mozzie bro like usually i don't really like roaming a mozzie but like if i have a set strat like this where you know you uh early roam here and if no one's here then you hide strip side you punch this whole kill the moto guy it's all like pre plans just like it's just guaranteed like guaranteed to kill guaranteed time waste I think that's super important on any kind of roam. Exactly. Yeah. Let me show you um, a nice little like duo strat that we actually ran sometimes. Yeah, show me, bro. In like comp games. So like with the mozzie, right? Blue is a very common spot that a lot of players like to take. Mm -hmm. So the most common spot for a defender to play is on blue, obviously right here. So what you would do as the mozzie is you put one pest right on that door, which from the window, I don't know if you want to show from the window, you can't shoot it right you can't shoot it like just you know if you're Holy. trying to jump through your teammate wow and then the other one what i like to do with my mozzie pest to make sure it covers as much of the window as possible is instead of throwing it like something like that which it covers a good amount i'll usually just you know punch the window in the middle like that and Ooh. then make sure that it catches like everything and so this is the strat right you get one one pest there one pest there and so what I'll tell my teammate usually to do is to go prone right on this, uh, right on this, like under the window. And you can see the head of anybody who walks through blue. 
What? So I don't know if you want to go prone there. Dude, these so are like drone, five tri five tips in one room, bro. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so a drone that comes in, right? Like, obviously, like, we're going to have to cosplay as drones. If a drone's coming in, there's a pest there. Most players will try to just hover the drone, like, around the area. And the first thing they're going to see is me on the stairs, Mozzie, right? And it would be almost impossible for the drone, even if they jump the drone through it and it gets pest, it's very difficult to see your your other player in the corner. The idea <clears> is <throat> the drone may see the guy on the stairs and it's a bait. So as I'm the person right here, you know, you could go prone in that corner right there. I'm like the attacker. I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to like kill this guy. I walk up and my full focus is just looking at the stairs and you have a like really easy, really clean headshot onto me and i had no clue you were in that corner in the first place bro you want your mind is like lending me your brain for a week and then i can just like absorb everything you know i feel like Maz is one of those ops where it's really easy to like overlook it but like after everything you just said like you just go super in depth with the past like it's information denial there's always like something helping you a teammate like i think that's just like the a good siege player in general though that's like of course it would come from someone like you you know what put in the comments below if you guys want fox to showcase any other operators i think he's probably the best person we've gotten on here so if you guys want to see him more comment below if you want fox to do another operator but thank you fox for the mozzie and let's move on to the next op for the next operator we have Cade, and i'm here with a pro player on wild card and this is packer so Packer, what is your best tip for Cade? Uh, my best tip for Cade would be to Cade trick the wall on the basement of Night Haven. First step is you would like to throw a Cade on the wall, the single wall specifically, so they, they can't get it open. You would like to throw it on the wall so when they EMP this wall, they'll, they'll seem like they can get it. When they try putting it another one down, you throw the, your Cade down, you pick up your other Cade that's EMP'd, and then since you'll EMP this new Cade, you'll throw down your other one, and then I'll make sure you get the thermite charge. And they'll seem like they can't open one of the walls out of the two walls they could choose from. Mm, yeah, 100% with timing. So for the IT wall on Night Haven, this wall is the most common wall to open, but since of the new nade change, and you, you don't, and they're gonna have to go below to get the Cades, especially if you ban Thatcher, you would like to put your Cades on each side of this wall, so that they have to forcefully go below to clear it, but even still, they're invincible from anything like projectiles below. They would have to EMP these cades perfectly, and since it's very hard to drone, as long as you block this garage door from drones getting in, then they will not be able to drone where the cades are. So this wall will most likely stay shut. Yeah, when this wall gets shut, bro, it's super hard. So like a quick thing and like, you know, like around his cage, so like, you know, instead of maybe let's say like after you're done with your, your K claws, you know, what? What should, kind of, what should a Cade main kind of do in sight? A Cade main should probably flip, like probably play this pillar position. It's, I would say it's like the most common position as a sight anchor to play. Probably flip cams for your roamers, give call outs. Just call out what cams you're missing, what cams you do have. And just make sure that like you call to your roamers when they need to rotate back to sight and when they, when they need to help. You gotta make sure that you don't get uh, lurked on from this position over here and then you gotta make sure that someone is holding this aqua room uh not this one but the one over here this room over here otherwise they'll lurk through this side take computers and this side's pretty hard to retake gotcha so yeah just flipping cams and uh checking gaps throughout the round if you have an anchor or any i mean any player in general is always is always checking gaps mid round that can always help out like Yo, uh, gap is, uh, you know, aqua or gap is, um, garage staircase. I think this small communication like that, I think is, you're solid, bro. Like, that's going to fix up also, some of the rank rounds. another common thing to do with Cade, I've seen this sometimes in pro play. It's more common with Bandit, but you can even do it with Cade, is where they reinforce off garage completely, and then they'll put a Cade claw on it. You can just throw the Cade on this wall, and it'll make it almost impossible. You can do the same Cade trick that I showed below on this wall and it'll make it almost impossible for them to take the site because they would have to flood through this one singular door uh if, if you're having that like good coordination like thought throughout the round like if plan a you know like after this is done and they're like oh they have to flood then you can mm -hmm. make that small re like that small reinforcement it switches like the pathways where they have to go in from i think you don't see that caught much in ranked but like if you pull that off it's you're gonna like double down on confusing every ranked player and they're just gonna all flood through that door that's a really really yeah. smart play you guys should definitely be doing that in your next rank game thank you packer 4 Cade, and let's move on to the next operator all right for this next opera we have mute and i'm here demonstrated by the pro player spirits on a wild card 
So, Spirits, what's your best tip for Mute? Uh, the best tip I can give you for Mute on Cafe is playing the cigar out. So you can make a shotgun all here on the top, le uh, top left or top right of the edge. The main escape route is uh, the ash, because you can get cut off from the skylight if you go from here. Then you can cut off from the south window, but if you play, like, you can see. And then you have this Mute setup that they can join into red. You can they can get in there and they can get the wall open so you have this one for the left wall this one for the right wall and this one to like have the whole cigar muted yeah when so you can't drone down here it's super super hard to jump down my best tip for this uh play would be to play behind the j desk and you like lined up like this by like this bar or like anywhere in the ceiling around that's it like in between those night and then when you when you hear them drop the red edge you give some momentum with clicking W and throw the night shot. Yeah, man, I, I assume like right after that, you get that C4 out of your pocket, then you have like, no, you have every reason to die now almost. And then you can play in the shop, you can play for a shotgun okay. in there, and then you have basically just farm shotgun kills at that point. That's a really good shot you guys should be using in ranked.